you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you should be doing in Madden right now. So, I don't think I've done one of these in about a week, I'd say. So, it's about time to just update you guys on a weekly basis. Now, what you should be doing is something I sadly did not do, and I have to actually catch up by today, because there's not much more time left after that. But, I know you guys typically really like these videos, so that is why I like to do them. You guys like them, you guys respond well to them, so I like to keep you guys updated. Now, if week to week, it's very similar, except it will change based on the new solos and new things that are out in the game. And I'm kind of be going over what you should be preparing for, because there is a promo coming, I'd imagine. It's coming out next week, well this week coming up, but I don't know if it's going to be Monday, Friday, I don't know yet. I'm assuming maybe Monday? But I can't give you guys exact dates yet because nothing's really been announced in that aspect. And if it has commented down below, and I'm sorry that I don't know that. But I've been a little preoccupied this weekend. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit the sub button. We're closing in on 8K. We're getting pretty close, guys. So every new viewer here, you won't regret it. Smack the sub button. You're going to want to be here for the long haul. Turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Make sure to like the video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. And comment down below anything you guys think that you should be doing right now that I did miss. Now, guys, first thing you should be doing is your weekend league. Now, sadly, boys, I will not be competing in weekend league this week, so there might not be too many rewards. I had a busy Friday, a busy Saturday, and now today's football, and I'm not missing the first week of the NFL for weekend league, although that's hard. it sounds horrible. I don't know how much you guys care, but I am not missing the first week. I got my fantasy team. I got the first. I'm so excited for the first day of the NFL, so I will be behind a weekend league, and I got into a slow start, and I kind of got a little preoccupied with NBA 2K20. I've been making play of my career, so it kind of threw me off a little bit. So I kind of, I, I, it, was a, it was a slow weekend. But guys, you're going to want to be playing Weekend League. Weekend League guarantees you great rewards. Now, by great rewards, I mean the packs are ass. But they do guarantee you coin rewards, and not to mention the monthly rewards. If you had anyone watch my monthly rewards, if you haven't, go back to the channel right after this video, of course, and go watch it. I got two full legends in the final pack. The, the monthly rewards are great. The 84 plus packs are awesome. I really did like that pack. Obviously, the better you are, the better things you get. But the monthly rewards are pretty good. I will not be getting them this month, of course, because I did miss this week, which I'm very, very sad about. But it is what it is. Realistically, I don't feel like my team wasn't really geared up to do it anyways. Although you might think it's a really good team. I feel like I'm missing a little key pieces here, so I need a little more coins. But guys, if you're not playing Weekend League this week, that's fine. You can always play solo battles as a replacement. It's obviously too late for that at this point on Sunday, unless you guys have to just finish them up. Solo battles, like I said, is like... It's like the non-competitive version of Weekend League. You just play it online, it's offline. You watch some Netflix, you watch some YouTube, you just chill, you play them, you get some great rewards. Now, what's going to be important, guys, I think this week specifically, I feel like a lot of you guys might be closing in on Mutt Master. I feel like it's, it's about that time where people are, are closing in on Mutt Master, a decent amount of you. So now Mutt Master right here, you guys are going to want to be watching these. So I'd recommend finishing these soon because right now with the state of the game, Ken Houston starting to get phased out pretty soon. So I think you're going to need that 95 strong safety. And definitely I'm getting pretty close to it. Pretty close, I mean, kind of. I'm about to get the 3,500 yards. 70,000 is a while away, but 35,000. And then I'm almost getting the 25,000 rushing yards, the touchdowns, almost at the interceptions, almost at the tackles, almost at the fumbles, almost at the sacks. I'm getting really close to everything. So that sacks going to be one token, two tokens, three tokens, four tokens, five tokens, six tokens. And seven tokens so it's seven tokens i think my guy's an 84 so he will be a 90 to 91 overall pretty soon so i'm hoping i can get that done within like two weeks or so at the max so i would recommend you guys go check your objective see how close you are to Mount master don't forget to be playing your weekly missions by the way if you complete five of these on a weekly basis you do get i believe one free gridiron pack which i did pull like an 85 travis frederick out of so like they could be very useful you could pull vic out of it like if you still don't know if he's still in packs today he might be out he might still be in i'm not entirely sure but guys I highly recommend you're always checking your weekly missions. You guys are checking your Mutt Master because we are we are closing in on that. I know that for a fact. And your daily engagement. Make sure to be doing your daily engagement. Make sure to be doing your daily um daily. You know I'm talking about the two wins and the pack to get your daily uh, quick sell. Because as you get higher up with these quick sells, at 50 you're gonna get an 85 to 86 overall power pass. At 62 you get nothing. It says we'll earn, but it doesn't tell you anything. Here you get an 87 to 88. So at the 75th day you're gonna get a free top base elite, which is pretty fire. And then coming down to 100 daily missions, you get a free 89 to 90 overall power pass. So they're going to get a lot better. So I recommend you start doing them now because if you fall behind on these, that will kind of suck. Because then typically to get all the way to this last one, you're going to have to do it almost every day. Pretty much to, to get the 99 overall power pass, 
you're gonna need it every single day pretty much for the rest of the year because think about it it's only 60 days less 64 days less than a full year so theoretically you will finish this right around may june ish so if you're gonna be playing to the end of the year you're gonna have to start doing these now i'm a little behind on those i've missed a few because i forget to like open my pack or i forget to play one extra solo it's kind of throwing me off just a little bit but let's say you're five all that done guys you want to start prepping for well before i get to that actually i'll save that you want to do your solo challenges because they have the mutt 10 here and this solo challenge expires tomorrow 10 30 a.m so make sure you play it if you guys have played bo jackson and patrick will certainly remember at the end of these 10 sequences, the 10 weeks, you do get one free limited time Mutt 10 Legend, which is huge. So far, you can get Bo Jackson, Willis, or Vic, and I think the best option is probably Michael Vick. Now, if we get like a Sean Taylor, a Calvin Johnson Jr., Deion Sanders, there's going to be some fire options here. You do not want to miss out on this because you guys are all going to regret it. Everyone's probably taking a little break right now for 2K, and then you're going to come back like in eight weeks, nine weeks, and you're going to be like, oh my God, you know, it's the Thanksgiving promo. I want to start playing. Oh, I wish I could have got my Vic or my Dion, whatever comes out. So don't, don't, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy that misses out on it. Just go play. It's really quick. It takes you literally 10 minutes. You go in. Literally, they'll tell you guys that's completed the fastest of you guys. This should be common knowledge. You literally go in. If you start on offense, you literally just run inside zone, shoot clock all the way. And since you only need one star, you play on easy. You do two shoot clock and you just go You just go down every take like three or two yards. And use every first down after like four downs. And you can literally knock out the whole first drive in one half. You can knock out the whole first half in the first drive. You come back on the defense. You blitz him. It's on easy. You get the ball right back and then you run it back. And then you just slowly grind it out again. It should take no longer than 10 to 15 minutes to complete this challenge. Maybe even less if you two clock efficiently. But you don't want to be you don't want to be slacking behind on these. Trust me, you're gonna regret it. Because I know everyone everyone right now when 2K comes out is like takes a little break. We start slowing down, and then when Halloween comes out, and then we got the October promo, and then we got the Thanksgiving promo. That's when things start heating up again, man. That's when things really kick off. Because re realistically, people are like, oh, you know, Madden's a little slow right now. Yeah, well, the season hasn't even started yet. Like Madden season isn't even starting yet. This was like the preseason literally like the real man team is about to kick off and you guys aren't gonna miss that now next thing i'm not gonna cover all the solos because obviously i feel like you guys are probably caught up on that don't get to play your team of the week solos if you haven't already i think there's still time for them should be yeah because you want to get your token because again at the end of the year you get a free team of the year player and remember you can always go on five farm accounts do that and get all five free team of the year players but besides the point guys kickoff promo is coming this week confirmed now that is what i was talking about what you should be preparing for now could it be coming out tomorrow very possible could it be coming out Friday? Possible. I don't really know when they like to drop the new promos. I'd imagine Monday should be it. And then I think Mud Heroes would be like two, three weeks after that. So Mud Heroes probably the end of September. And then the kickoff promo is this week. Now, what you guys want to be doing to prepare for that, I told you guys I'd be picking up power-ups and I'd be picking up base release that are cheap. So like I had my record, my, my my personal predictions for uh, kickoff are Travis Kelsey. If it's the same position as last year. Last year it was a cornerback. It was no, it wasn't. It was a wide receiver, which was Antonio Brown. Gronkowski, Luke Keekley. I think those were the three, the three guys. And then there was like seven like captains. There was like the captain ones, you know, like the, I don't want to call them captains, but they were like the 90 overalls. There were like seven of them. And then there was the bosses. So the bosses were Antonio Brown, Gronkowski, and Keekley. So it could, I think it could potentially be Bobby Wagner, Travis Kelsey, and who was the wide, and Julio Jones. Those are my three kickoff predictions. Now for the low overalls, I think there could be Travis, like I said, Travis Kelsey's already in there. I think Jalen Ramsey could be in there. There's a lot of good guys. So any base elites that haven't gotten upgrade yet, I think are worth investing in some power-ups here. So if you come over to like Bobby Wagner, right? If you come over to his middle linebacker. For, oh, first off, these are very cheap. Just getting that out there. Bobby Wagner goes for like 139. If you can get one for like 120, I'd recommend holding on to it because if he does get a card, his card will go up in price. And more importantly this year, the base elites don't move as much when the new cards come out. It's more so their power-ups. So I highly recommend you start scooping up power up. So like, let's say I go to power up and then we go to wagon. Let's type them in, it'll be a little easier. Wag, okay, that worked. He's 21K now. I don't know if, sorry guys, if my video killed it. He was nine to eight, like eight, nine K. And then ever since I dropped my video, I guess he went up in price quite a ton. But guys, if he gets a new power up card, if he gets a new card, you know his power up's gonna be expensive. I mean, if you have him now and you don't wanna take the risk and you guys follow my advice, maybe you could sell him now. That'll be double the coins you spent for him. A little more than double. Actually, I'll cover the reductions are probably just exactly double. But yeah, he went up in price. I don't know if that was specifically my video. Let me go check who were the other ones I mentioned. I did Wagner, Julio. Let's see what Julio's going for. Julio was going for like 8 to 9K when I made the video. Julio's 30K. He went up a little bit. I mean, it also is 9, 18 in the morning on Sunday. So it could just be the market's a little slow, guys. But I would recommend investing in base elites and base elite power-ups that haven't gotten upgrade yet. So like I said, Julio Jones, Bobby Wagner, Jalen Ramsey, DeAndre Hopkins. Those are guys that haven't got upgrade yet that could quite get one. But I think DeAndre Hopkins might be a mutt heroes kind of guy but you never know you could get him um a mutt kickoff player but 
Saquon Barkley is a great one too. I got his power for like 8, 9K. I got a few of them. I'm really happy about that because he can. I think Saquon could get a kickoff card. Or I think more specifically, he can get a Mutt Hero card, which will be my favorite running back. So I'm really waiting for that. But guys, that is about it for the video. So don't forget, don't get to play your Mutt 10 solos. Don't get to play your Team of the Week solos. Finish up your solo battles on your weekend leagues. And stop preparing for kickoff promo. It is coming. How much will it affect the market? Probably a lot. I mean, typically any new promo affects the market. So like if there's new wide receivers, whatever new position comes out will probably kill that aspect of the market. I will do a market talk going over all the mutt kickoff, you know, effects that happen post the new promo coming out, guys. But that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, go down below, smack the sub button, make sure to turn on the noti bell, give it a big thumbs up, guys. Get this video to 200 likes and comment down below any predictions you guys have for the kickoff promo and what you're doing to prepare for it. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.